Hello, this is Teacher Kings. Welcome to our lesson. So today we'll be talking about adverbs. So if you look at the whiteboard, what is an adverb? Before I go on to define an adverb, I would like us to have a background knowledge of a verb. So what is a verb? A verb is a word used to describe an action or a word used to describe the state of being of something or a word used to describe an occurrence of something or an event. Okay, so let's look at this short three-worded sentence. Teacher Kings explained. Teacher Kings explained. Explained here is a verb. And Teacher Kings is a subject. So we have a subject and a verb. Now, if you wish to understand or to know how the Teacher King explained, you will say, Teacher Kings explained nicely. So nicely is an adverb. Adverbs adds more information about the verb. Adverbs add more information about the verb. So the verb explain. Teacher Kings explain. This is a verb. If you want to add more information about the verb, you would like to know how the teacher Kings explain or when the teacher King explained or where did teacher Kings explain. So in this case, they say teacher Kings explained nicely. So how did teacher King explained? Teacher Kings explained nicely. So nicely here is an adverb. So nicely is an adverb. So adverbs add more information about the verb. Okay. You could also know what time the teacher can explain. That is when. Is it yesterday? Is it today? Is it now? Okay. You could also want to know how. How is the way is what we just explained above. How did Teacher King explain? Did Teacher King explain so well? Did Teacher King explain quickly? Did Teacher King explain carefully? So how? Again, where did Teacher King explain? The place, the place. Where did Teacher King explain? The Teacher King explain inside? The Teacher King explain outside? So where is the place? So let's go now to some examples. Fred worked. This is a simple sentence with a subject, Fred, and a verb, worked. So now, when, when did Fred work? Fred worked yesterday. That is when, yesterday. Okay. How? How did Fred work? Fred worked quickly. I wish to tell you that in certain sentences, you can place your adverb after the verb or you can place the adverb before the verb. But one sounds better. So here in this case, you can also say Fred quickly worked or Fred worked quickly. Here, the adverb comes after the verb, and here, the adverb comes before the verb. But if you listen carefully, Fred worked quickly sounds better. But the both statements are the same and correct. Thank you. Okay, number two. Adverbs 
adds more information about the adjective. Adverbs adds more information about the adjective. Now we have a new word introduced, adjective. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word used to describe something, particularly to describe a noun. So if it adds more information about an adjective, to what extent? To what degree? Okay, let's look at a short example here. Look at this sentence. The man is slow. Slow is an adjective. This adjective describes the man. Now, the man is very slow. Very here is an adverb. So it adds more information to the adjective. Very slow. Thank you. Number three, adverbs also adds more information about another adverb. An adverb adds more information about another adverb. Okay, let's look at some few examples. Example number one, Kelly writes nicely. Kelly writes nicely. Nicely is an adverb. Now, if you wish to know to what extent does Kelly write or to three, how nicely does Kelly write? To what extent? To what degree? Okay. Kelly writes very nicely. So, on the first sentence, Kelly writes nicely. Nicely is a... In our second sentence, we say, Kelly writes very nicely. Very is another adverb. It tells us to what extent does Kelly write. Okay. Example number two. The students talk too loudly. Loudly is an adverb. And then, two is another adverb which is being used to add more information to loudly. Is it a little? Is it not? In this sense, too loudly means is a lot. Okay. Then, I would like you to also take note of this. Most adverbs most adverbs, not all, most adverbs are actually adjectives which has been added a suffix li. What do I mean? Adjective plus li gives you an adverb. Most, not all. Example, careful. Careful is an if you add le, the suffix le, to careful, it becomes carefully, which makes it an adverb. Another one is quick, is an adjective. If you add le to quick, it becomes quickly, which makes it an adverb. Another adjective here is beautiful, it's an adjective. If you add li to beautiful, it becomes beautifully, which makes beautifully an adverb. So as I said, most adverbs, not all, are usually adjectives which are being suffixed with li. There are some other adjectives which don't have a li at the end. Example. The man is strong. Strong is an adjective. But if I say the man is so strong, so is an 
adverb. It describes the extent to which the man is strong. So here, the Lee theory does not apply here. That's why I say most adjectives added with the suffix Lee makes an adverb, not all. Okay, let's revise one more time. Okay, today we have been talking about adverbs. Adverbs. What is an adverb? Adverbs add more information to the verb. Very good. Look at this statement. Fred worked. What is a verb? Okay. How did Fred work? Fred worked quickly. Quickly is an adverb. It adds more information to this verb. Telling us how did Fred work. Good. And I told you that the, 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 the adverb could come after the main verb or before the main verb. But one sounds better. So in these two cases, Fred worked quickly and Fred quickly worked. If you listen to it carefully, Fred worked quickly sounds better. But both sentences are okay. Thank you. Adverbs also add more information about the adjective. More information about the adjective. Example, the man is slow. Slow is an adjective. So, to what extent is the man slow? And to what degree is the man slow? So, you come in now with an adverb to give the degree. So, the man is very slow. In this case, the man is very slow, more than usual. Thank you. Number three, adverbs add more information about another adverb. It means adverb adds more information about another adverb. Okay, let's look at the example. Kelly writes nicely. Nicely is an adverb. But if you want to know the extent and to what degree Kelly writes, you need another adverb to support this adverb. So, Kelly writes very nicely. Very is another adverb, and nicely are two adverbs. So, an adverb adds more information to another adverb. So, very is an adverb, adding more light to the nicely which Kelly Do you understand? Okay. And then, I want you to take note. I said most adverbs, not all, are usually adjectives with the suffix li. So, it makes an adverb, most, not all. Example, careful is an adjective. If you add the suffix, carefully, which is an adverb, beautiful is an adjective. If you add li, the suffix li to this beautiful, it makes it beautifully, which is an adverb. So, most adverbs are actually adjectives which have been added the suffix li, not of. Did you get that? Thank you.